My name is Moshe Anderson. I'm a barber and a, and a small time business owner of Campus Cuts Barbershop. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm originally from Chicago, came down here for college back in the mid 90s. And um, I don't know, my plan wasn't to stay here, it just kind of just happened. And um, I went to graduate school and then I had a kid and opened up a business and kind of just, time just flew by, I should say. The greatest thing is that we get to, get to interact with the community and the students over at SIU. Uh, that's, the, that's the best thing about it. So uh, one thing I really love is just to actually watch the students come in as freshmen and graduate and, and even the, the residents come in as children and watch them grow up. And I think that's like a, a great thing, a, a great rite of passage that the barbershop uh, provides for the community. I've been cutting hair since I was about 12 years old. So um, I've always had that, it, I wouldn't say it was a hobby, it was just something I've always done. Um, I've cut my hair, cut my brother hair, people here in the community when I, in Chicago. So um, when I came down here, I was cutting hair in the dorms as a student, you know, my, my classmates and friends and associates, and uh, eventually got to the point where I said I need my own shop. So I just had decided to open one with me and my, uh, my business partner. We wouldn't function without the, the, the customers, the clients, the, uh, the patrons. So they're a very big part of it. And, we need them just as much as they need us. I think every month is Black History Month, to be honest with you. I mean, I hate that, that they have to designate one month. Black history is American history. So I think we have to get out of the mind frame of that. I appreciate the highlight of Black history in America for one month, but I just think that it's a, it's a year-round thing. Um, the barbershop is a pinnacle in the neighborhood, always have been. It's always been a place for uh, young men and older men and children to come in and. Uh, to get well-groomed and also get counseling advice and just tr trade and share information. A place where men can be men, guys can be guys. And um, that's one thing that I really appreciate about the barbershop and that's why it's, it's so needed in the community. Barbers are like big brothers. We can be anything. We can be brothers, we can be fathers, we can be sons, we can be uncles, mentors. So the role that we play, or we have a lot of roles that we play. And it just depends on the client. It depends on the person that, the person that comes in. You know, We have people that come in that just want advice from somebody that's older or more experienced, or somebody just to vent to. Just like as if you went to a, uh, I don't want to say like a bar or anything like that, but you know, places people just can go and just talk to somebody they don't know. And sometimes people just want to get things out. You know, especially around this time during the pandemic. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of sad hearts and a lot of uh, difficulty. So uh, people have a lot of things to say, a lot of things to get off their chest. And sometimes guys come in, they can't really talk to the world like they talking here to men. We try to make sure we want to keep everybody safe, uh, social distancing, so that kind of cut down on the traffic. Um, and it also mess with, mess with the revenue a little bit too. But all in all, it's about the safety of everybody. And, and I'm just happy that we're able to keep our doors open and still provide a service for the community. Being one of the businesses that has been here on the Strip uh, 15 years, I'm kind of proud of that. I've seen uh, businesses close, I've seen new businesses open. So we try to reach out and try to work with each other as far as um, piggyback off each other and, and trade business or just um, uh, mouth, you know, references, you know, word of mouth references to each other. I just want to say I hope everybody is get, gets well. I hope this pandemic passed by. I hope the COVID-19 just vanishes and we can get back to our regular lives. Yeah. <laughs>